No. No. You are not special. You're not entitled to anything special. Sometimes you just have to stick to the rules whether you like them or not. Or you might find yourself being dragged out of a supermarket by a complete stranger. Go nuts on my nuts. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Playing a Blinder with me, the Creaky Blinder. Now I know we don't usually look at videos like this, but I'm not one to keep my pointing and laughing skills limited just to flat earthers. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the most ridiculous public outbursts I can find on Twitter when it comes to people being required to wear masks in public. If they says, if they says you have to wear a mask. Bye. Wear a mask. Bye. Wear a mask. Well, this first clip is just to set the tone. This lady looks perfectly harmless. She's obviously embarrassed, which is why she's just going, Bye. But I'm sure she's got some really good reason for not wearing a mask. I have a mask, but I have an anxiety attack in two That's minutes, fine, so. anxiety, just wear a mask. I really will have that. Now, anxiety is an emotion characterized by feelings of tension. So let me ask you this, what would make you feel more anxious? Fear of wearing a face mask for the five minutes you may be in the supermarket? Or fear of catching a virus which has killed half a million people worldwide. So I read something online, obviously from an anti-masker because a normal person wouldn't say it, and that anti-masker said that wearing a mask for an extended period of time reduces your ability to intake oxygen and can cause a buildup of carbon dioxide. But surprisingly enough, it just isn't true. Now there are certain medical exemptions, I mentioned this in Friday's video, my own dad has COPD and he's got an exemption from wearing a mask. But guess what? He still wears one because his inability to breathe properly is outweighed by his fear of catching a virus that will almost certainly kill him if he gets it. Okay, seriously? You yeah, need to go do seriously. Your own thing. Cool. Thanks. Do it. I'd love that. Would you? I would. Call what him, do you please. Do? No, this is something that I really don't get. This is obviously a couple. She is the mouthy one who is wearing a mask and her boyfriend who's got his mask dangling off his ear hasn't said a word and she's threatening to call security. What exactly for? Because if the security guards are worth anything, the second they turn up they are going to tell your boyfriend that he should be wearing a mask as per this store's policy. This, this guy's just important though. Yeah, you're not listening. It's like, it's, a, it's actually a law now. And to be in here, you have to have okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I appreciate the way you put it. Cool. One of the store employees has approached him, told him that it's now law that you need to wear a mask and he has just said thank you and put his mask on. But whether it's a law or not is kind of irrelevant in a store setting anyway because as the proprietor of a business, you can enforce any rules of your choosing. For example, you could quite easily say only people wearing red t-shirts are ever allowed to enter my store. You probably don't want to do that though because that's a really terrible example because you wouldn't get any customers. But you know what I mean. It's your own policy which you are free to implement as you see fit. But the boyfriend is one thing. But what the woman does next just beggars belief. Okay, you're actually disrespecting me because you're in my space. But far be it from me to be nitpicky. <laughs> but she is challenging him about being in her personal space, which is something nobody likes. But surely being this far away from his face isn't the best way to get your point across. <laughs> hmm. Well, this woman clearly doesn't understand how the internet works, does she? But it's fine anyway. Only 42,000 people have seen this clip on Twitter so far, so she'll be fine. Yeah, you'll you, you make yourself famous. You need to get the fuck out of our space. Like, seriously, pack off. Why don't you stay home? You're gonna be staying home now because I got COVID. You're gonna get sick now. Sweet. So she's coughed in his face like a child and then said to him, You're gonna be staying home now because I've got COVID. Well, 
good for you. You've just made yourself look like a complete turkey in front of tens of thousands of people. Because apart from that, I can't see how this has achieved anything other than making you look like a really horrible person. And another thing I've noticed while trawling through all these clips, for you, over the last couple of days, is that somehow, these people that refuse to wear masks always seem to be able to twist it so that they look like the victim. Much like the lady in this next clip. And I use the word lady quite loosely. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Now please, forgive me for repeating myself and stating the obvious, but before you listen to the statement this lady is about to make, please keep in mind that she is, well, white. Racism best. Well besides the glaringly obvious fact which is that white people are most certainly not a minority. You've been removed from this flight for refusing to wear a face mask. I seriously doubt that race has got anything to do with this at all. Now ladies, this next one is for you. Because I wouldn't want to be accused of being sexist. Because it turns out that it's not just middle-aged women that can be entitled... assholes. Men can as well. Who'd have thunk it? You dumb fucking faggot, what you, what's your problem? What's your dumb fucking faggot problem? You don't know the law, that's how stupid you are. I love people like this. Now I'm not going to repeat what he said, I'm sure you heard it. He called this guy with the camera a dumb effing F word which refers to his sexuality. And then goes on to say that he clearly doesn't know anything about the law. Do you? <laughs> are you aware that anti-gay discrimination is in fact illegal? So maybe you should look a little bit closer to home before you accuse somebody of not knowing the law. Sir, if you can't You can't use those type of words, come on boss. It'll cost you seventy-five thousand dollars. It's a health code violation to deny service based on someone's disability one year. So I would love you to do it. It'll cost you seventy-five thousand dollars. Or you can look up the law. Do you want to look at the law first? Because it's fag right here. Good. He doesn't know the law, he thinks he's smart. But they're not refusing to serve you because of your disability. I'm not sure what type of disability you could have in there anyway but that's that's besides the point they are denying you service because this particular store clearly has guidelines in place which require the wearing of a face mask due to the current pandemic so that's why they're refusing you service it's got nothing to do with the fact that you've got something going on in your lago oh. read gavin listen to what if you kick me out, it's $73,000. It's your choice, I don't care. What on earth are you talking about? It's not $75,000 to kick you out. They can do that for free. All they've got to do is grab you by that stupid tie and drag you out. Now, we're all aware of the Karen meme. We're all aware of anti-maskers, who are, in my humble opinion, as equally dangerous as anti-vaxxers. But there are some women who just epitomise the Karen meme angry look on their face, the pursed lips, and the general contempt for anybody who dares to try and tell them they have to do something. Okay. Can you please stay outside? No, sir. I'm here with my boyfriend. I'm accompanying him. <laughs> yeah, her again. Now, I know I used this in Friday's video, but there was a lot more to that clip than I showed, so enjoy. I'm, I'm here. I got my mask on. She's not. Are you gonna get a license, sir? She has I'm to accompanying my boyfriend. You have to stay outside. Please stay Why? outside. Because only we have a limited capability how much we can have here. Please wait, wait outside, okay? Your occupancy permit. How many does it allow for? I can tell you outside. We no, have spots. See the spots? Okay. Okay. So he just said that. Uh, this facility. Um, isn't a smartphone. An electronic device? Now obviously I'm no lawyer, but this poor guy is probably too terrified to challenge her on it because she would say, It's for my own protection. Yeah. Okay. 
So, but I'm with my boyfriend. You cannot do this with a boyfriend. You have to wear a mask. Sir, I guess I you can do wear, this with my wear, boyfriend. You have to wear a mask. I do not. Yes, why, do. I, why is that? It's by state, by state, by the governor. You have to wear it's a mask. It's a mandate. It's not a law. Yes, I know, but you have to wear it's a mask. It's not a law, sir. Man, why, 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 you, your why, job is not to enforce yeah, mandates. Man. Just look at her face. Now, I'm saying nothing. But law, mandate, completely irrelevant. This is the DMV. The DMV have their own regulations in place and at the moment those regulations state that you must wear a face covering to enter the DMV. So whether it's law or not is completely irrelevant. And this guy, yeah, you're right, he isn't in a position where he can enforce the law or a mandate, but he is in a position where he can enforce the rules put in place by the DMV to protect their patrons. Okay, so I'm give, being given a pretty hard time here about... Being a selfish bitch and not showing any consideration for all the other people inside the DMV who incidentally all seem to be wearing masks, including that child right behind you. Not being able to stand next to my boyfriend. <laughs> it's the poor lady being given a hard time. Wear a mask then, you selfish cow without wearing a mask. Man, I, I say to you, no recording. You want me to call the police for you? Sir, I'm recording myself, but you're invading my, pri my you, space. You are not wearing a mask. You must wear a mask. I, but size who? <sighs> so this is like pulling teeth. Says the DMV, and you're in the DMV's building, so abide by their rules. So he just said so, he's going to call the police yeah, on you. Yeah, the cops are going to come here. You don't want that shit again. I feel so sorry for her boyfriend. He's practically pleading with her. Please, just put on a mask. Stop this nonsense. Next week, there'll be another crusade for you to go on. Chill out. So you're going to compromise my health by not wearing a mask? Funny, I was just about to say, I'm absolutely amazed that no other member of the public in this building has got involved yet and challenged her about it. <laughs> because that's what you're doing right now. Because if you are sick... You are compromising my immune system. I am not. I'm not a virus. I'm a human being. If you are sick, you are. A I am not sick. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. Well, I don't think anybody actually accused you of being a virus, did they? They just accused you of being a selfish piece of shit for not wearing a face mask as required by this particular establishment. And the point this woman is trying to make is that just because you're a selfish piece of crap. Why should other people suffer? And you say, I'm not a virus and I'm not sick. Okay, let's assume that you're not sick. Good for you. But what if you come into contact with somebody who is sick while you're not wearing a mask because you're too pig-headed and stupid to see the benefits of doing so? Yeah, and they're little girls. The face mask you're wearing is compromising your health. There is zero evidence to suggest that face masks compromise your health. I know there's still some debate as to how effective they are. Now I know that there's going to be some smart asses who will rush down to the comment section and say, Oh, Creaky, you're wrong. You're wrong. Well, I don't really care. Because given the choice between not wearing and wearing a mask, even if there's a possibility it reduces the chances of me contracting a disease like COVID-19, I will choose the mask every single time. And if you've got half an ounce of common sense, you'll do exactly the same as well. Yes, it does. So listen, I'm fairly sure that this video is going to upset some people. And if it does, it does. I don't really care. Because at the end of the day, the debate over masks is irrelevant to my opinion. Until there's absolute proof that they don't do any good, I'm going to continue to use one whenever it's required and I recommend that you all do the same. Don't listen to women like this. Well, don't listen to anyone like this woman. The fact that she's a woman is by the by. Just don't listen to these anti-mask idiots because they're wrong. 100% wrong. And you can guarantee that 99% of them are also anti-vaxxers. So if you're going to trust an anti-masker, you're trusting an anti-vaxxer. If it is your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss an upload. I'm the Creaky Blinder, and I will see you tomorrow night on the Agree to Disagree channel. It's going to be a good one, so I recommend you don't miss it. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. All right, all right, watch this next.
But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blinder.